Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about the wiki uh, service on Mountain Lion server. And uh, we're going to talk about how to configure it, get it set up. I'll take you through a little tour of it. And then we'll also dig into uh, some of the details on how to set it up. Now, the beauty of Wiki Server is that for those of you that are home users who want to have a website, but you really don't need a website that's out there, you just want something that you can share with family, uh, maybe even in your own intranet. Like you don't want it on the outside on the web, but you just want to use it in the house uh, for your family to use to post things back and forth. Uh, you could use it that way. Uh, or if you've got you know other maybe relatives that you want to put on your server that you want to limit it, uh, limited access wise, uh, it really is a great option because uh, the wiki server allows you uh, to have a lot of the benefits of most websites. And as you'll see, you can do a blog, you can do a wiki, you can uh, post things on there, you can put documents on it. Uh, it really uh, is kind of a, a nice service for that. For those of you that are more on the business side, it's a, it's a nice communication tool that will allow you to uh, have users log in. You can put f uh, files and things on there to download. There are, there are a lot of different services that you can use uh, for this. It's kind of a collaboration tool uh, in your business. Now, for some of you, uh, you know, that are doing business things, you'll want a fancier website, but at least this gives you something you can use uh, kind of within the, in the corporate structure if, if that's your setup. So what I want to do is show you kind of how to configure it and uh, then we'll take a look at some of the details. So this is the basic uh, wiki service here and uh, as always we've got the big on off button at the top and uh, a very simple setup. I've got basically two options. Uh, the first one is wiki creators and this is this basically allows people to create uh, a new wiki on your website. Now for those of you that don't know what wikis are, uh, a wiki basically is a collaboration tool. It's kind of like a uh, online bulletin board of sorts where you can put a topic up there and then people can post things back and forth and answer one another and those kinds of things and then you can track uh, all of that progress as you've been uh, sort of replying back and forth and those kinds of things. You can use it for a lot of other things as well. You could use it to post photos you want critiques on. I mean you can do a lot of different things with it. Uh, but basically what this setting does is it allows you to, de to determine who can create wikis. And if you just look here you've got the option of either all users or some users. Now if I just change this to some users for a second what it'll do is it'll allow you to choose who is able to make changes to the wiki. Uh, it could just be administrators, you can add uh, any of your people that you've got in your user accounts, you can add groups and those kinds of things. Uh, I'm just going to cancel this for a second because for me I just want to allow it to be open to all users, which means that anybody in my particular household uh, or that is, that's one of my users can actually make changes. Okay, So that's just a simple setting there. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, you have this web dev uh, button here that you can enable web dev access to wiki files and you can access those files through all of the iWork uh, types of programs that you've got on Macs and also available on iOS devices. And this comes in very handy especially if you're using iOS devices because what this means is any files and things that you put up on the wiki people with their iPads or their iPhones can get access to those files uh, through services like uh, you know pages and that kind of stuff. So you're probably going to want to check that button. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll show you in another screencast how to access the different things that you have on WebDAV with, you, with your iOS devices. But for now, that's probably an option that you're going to want to mark. Uh, now, once you've done that, you just throw the switch here to turn it on. It uh, will The spinning gear will happen, setting the service up, and eventually the green light comes on. And then you know everything's good. And then this little uh, link down here to view the wiki shows up. Now, before we view the wiki, there's something that I want to cover uh, because there was a little bit of a change in Mountain Lion Server. And that was in uh, Lion Server, it automatically, whenever you tried to get to the wiki page, would force you to log in before you could see the page and any of the content. Uh, with Mountain Lion Server, it looks like they've removed that uh, option. And so it, by default, it's automatically sort of open on the web uh, for anybody to view and take a look at. Uh, now you have to log in to make changes and get to some of the other details. But for some of you that are running home uh, setups, you probably don't want people on the internet to see it at all. You may want to just sort of hide it and only have it available to your home users. So if you want to do that, uh, what you need to do is come into this website uh, service here. And you'll notice here we have the server website here. And I'm using SSL, so let me just do this. You can do it for both of them. But you want to come in here and edit that. 
And right here where it says who can access, you want to go ahead and come in here and set uh, change the setting. It's going to be defaulted to anyone. You want to change it to one of your groups that you want to have access it. So if you've got all your, usually all your users are in this work group setting. And so you might want to change it to that. Or you could actually customize it to specific users. But you're going to want to change that so that what happens is, and when you're, well, you, after you finish changing that, you just click done and it will uh, make the updates to the service. I'm just going to cancel it here. Now the reason that you want to do that is so that when people come to uh, take a look at the wiki, they come to log into your server or they want to access it from the outside, it's automatically going to give them a login window that forces them to log in before they can even see the page. And so it just adds a sort of a layer of security uh, that if you don't want anybody on the outside to see it. If you don't care, you can have that open. People can pr browse your site. They just won't necessarily be able to uh, reply or anything unless you open that up. But at least it adds a level of security to the system so that you've got that available. So now what I want to do is let's take a look at the wiki. You normally just click this link here. Uh, I've already got the wiki site open, so let me just pull it up. And this is what it looks like. Now, I've already logged in and all of that so that if... Uh if, if for you when you when you go to the site it's gonna force you to log in if you made that little change that I gave you um, or you'll have to click this little lock up here to log into the uh, service so that you can go ahead and take a look at it and do any edits and things that you want to do to the site but this is basically what it looks like and it's got uh, four areas you've got a my documents area where you can put documents you've got an all activity area where you can track the activity on all the wikis and blogs and things you've got a wiki area that just shows all the different wikis where you can communicate with people and you've got a people area where you can view the different uh, people uh, that you've got set up in, uh, on the server and their their pages and those kinds of things uh, you'll notice down here at the bottom uh, we've got a few links that are here I've got a calendar link, so if you have the calendar service uh, running on your server, uh, if you click this, it gives you access to a calendar for your wiki, and it brings all of this up, and so you can actually schedule things and put things in here. Now, a uh, little tip on this as well that, uh, that I found is that uh, sometimes there's a problem uh, accessing this calendar if you come into the wiki uh, normally without, without coming in through the secure site. So if you come in with just HTTP, and then your server's address. Um, it, you, a lot of times it won't allow you to have access to the server. Uh, it's just a glitch. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you just change that and come into the server from HTTPS, and then your server's address, uh, you should be able to have access to it. Like I said, it's a little bug that's there, um, but I wanted to let you know that right away. So you've got your today uh, views, you can view your calendars, you've got settings that, that you have here where you can uh, kind of change some of the settings here in terms of availability, who uh, has uh, access to uh, in terms of delegates to uh, be able to change things uh, on your calendar. You can set, do those basic settings here. Uh, but it gives you kind of a, a, a web calendar that everybody can see uh, when you're a part of that. And so that, that really gives you a great uh, great setup for it. Let me just go back to our main page here. Uh, you've also got the ability to change your password from here. So if you click this button here, um, it, you've got to turn it on inside with the administrator uh, privileges in the server. I don't have it on because I don't want my kids changing it. But if you uh, turn that on and give access to it, people can change their passwords by themselves. Uh, you have to do that on the users page to make that happen. Let me just go back again. Uh, and then you can have access to Profile Manager. You just click this and you're right into Profile Manager. You have to log in and uh, it gives you kind of a shortcut to Profile Manager, which we've covered already earlier. Now, up here on the top, one more area of uh, settings. If you click this, you'll have your user information here. And then you've got these pages for your activity, your, your documents, uh, your favorites. So that relates to you as a user. And then it has big buttons to get you back places like home, all activity, wikis, the same as these buttons here. Now, I uh, in another screencast, I'll go into more details on this, but one of the things you can do with all of the pages is you do have the ability to customize these pages. You can change it, you can change the icons, you can change everything about it so that you can make this website your own. And what I'm going to do in the next screencast is I'm going to show you a little bit of how you can start to customize that, give you some ideas, and kind of walk you through how to set, uh, set those pages up. But before I do that, let me just give you a quick tour of the pages, and then we'll talk about how you can customize them and set them up in the next screencast. So you've got uh, an uh, all activity 
uh, button here and basically what it shows is everything I've added up to the site. I've just kind of put some photos and different things up there so you get an idea of what that looks like. Uh, you've got kind of an everything area, unread and favorites and uh, you can mark things as read or unread. You can star them and stuff like that and I'm going to show you a little more how that works uh, next. Um, easiest way to do it is to come right back up here. You can So we went to all activity. Um, let me go back home just since I was using that as a launch place. Uh, you can also go to your wikis. So any wikis you've got set up uh, will be showing right here. And I'm going to show you how to set up a wiki, but here's kind of an example of one. I just put one up like vacation photos. And so I was able to customize this a little bit. And uh, there's uh, a lot of different uh, things you can do with the wiki. You've got activities and documents and those kinds of things. Uh, if you look here, you can see activity. Here, These are different documents I've added. If you click actually on one of the things, you've got a, uh, you know, kind of what that particular wiki uh, deal is. Uh, and you can add comments to it. Uh, if you wanted to right here, you could add comments, tags, uh, notifications, and that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm giving you a broad tour right now, but I'm going to walk you through all the, all the details. Uh, if I come back to Vacation Photos again, uh, then I'm back here at the, at the beginning page. Um, so that gives you an idea of that. Let me just go back home again. Uh, then you also have people and when you click this, this is going to show just kind of all of the people you've got, their blogs and those kinds of things. And I'll show you how to set up a blog. Here's all the people we have here. Here's myself. And so, you know, welcome to my page. Just kind of put a generic page up there for you. I'll show you how that looks. And then just some things that maybe I wrote about uh, in a blog. And uh, I'll show you how to, uh, how to set up a blog and get that rolling. So that gives you kind of a, a big overview of the uh, service. So what I'm going to do next is uh, show you how to customize it, how to set up each of these pages and, and have them run, and uh, really begin to make this uh, wiki website uh, your own. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.